Hola mga Lakers! Welcome back! If you're new to my channel, my name is Sir Kevin. I love to share my skills and knowledge about educational technology. I upload before twice and now four times a week. So if you want to learn more about educational technology, subscribe now and hit that notification bell so you will be updated on my latest video. We are now on episode 7. If you want to check the previous episodes, click the caption above. I made series of videos for me to show you how you can use Kotobi Author and Kotobi Reader. For this video, I'm gonna show you how to add questions. In your Kotobi Author, if you want to add questions, just click this questions button. Write your title here. It can be instructions or directions. Then choose what type of question you will make. It has five question types. True or false, multiple choice with single answer and with multiple answer, short answer, and drag and drop. When you click short answer and drag and drop, it says this feature is available for basic user and above, meaning it is not available for free version. But it's okay, you can still use the other three types since it is the common and easy to use type of question. For this demonstration, let's make three questions, one for each type. Let's start with true or false. Click the true or false button, then a question appears below. Type your question here. And click this to select the correct answer. If you are a teacher of other language like Filipino, choose Edit Choices, then provide the necessary choices. Click this check button to finish. Below, you can add image. You can also add answer explanation that appears once the user submits the answer, it will provide further information. For reference, once the user submits the answer, a learn more button appears linking to a certain reference. Now, let's add our second question. Just click any type of question you would like. This time, let's choose multiple choice with single answer. Additional question appears below. And on this side, if you're gonna notice, you will see the number of questions we currently have. If we click another question, it adds up to the number of questions we have here. If you add too many questions, you can simply click this delete icon. To arrange a certain question, click these arrow buttons to move up and down. Now, let's proceed to our second question. Type your question here and provide choices. To add more option, click this add an extra choice. To remove, click this red icon. On this side, choose the correct answer. You can also add image, answer explanation, and reference. Now, let's add our third question, which is the multiple choice with multiple answer. The only difference with this type of question with the previous one is it has more than one answer. For scoring, you can set more than one point, 
which depends on your preference. Like for this third question, it has three correct answers. We can give three points. Once you're done, click great. Now, let's check the preview. If you want to show answer feedback with score based on the total points you gave, go back again to the question in the edit tab. Select your question and click edit. Under response, choose score and answer report. This option provides answer feedback whether the answer of the user is correct or incorrect and also showing the correct answer. To edit the total points, click this option tab. Here, provide the number of questions. And identify the passing score and the total score. Click edit if you're done. Now, let's check the preview. One more thing, if you would like to change the display mode much cooler, Go back again to your question in the Edit tab. Select your question and click Edit. Click Option tab. Then under Display Mode, choose Question Slides. You can also check Numbering to add number for each question. This randomized option will shuffle the questions every time the quiz opens. But, for some reason, when this one is enabled, the answer feedback doesn't work. So better leave this one off if you want to provide answer feedback. Click Edit to finish. Now let's see the preview. This question option is a great feature making assessment fun and interactive. For the next episode, if this video helps you a lot, give a like and a share to the people you think who needs to see it. Thank you for watching and I am Sir Kevin. See you on my next video.